Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Amar Rabbani Abdullah. I'm going to talk about sniffing. This is an assignment of system and software vulnerabilities IKB41403. And my lecturer is Shafiza Muhammad Sharif. Alright, let's go. Before we go further in sniffing, we need to know what is sniffing is all about. Sniffing can be performed using an application, hardware devices at both the network and host level. Any network having information in plain text can be intercepted and read by the attackers. This information can be usernames, password, secret codes, banking details or any information which is of value to the attacker. This attack is just technical equivalent of a physical spy. Sniffing, as if we make it short, is all about in getting the information of the victim by intercepting the network. The objective of the sniffers, there's a lot of objective for the sniffers to getting any information of the victim. They are getting username and password, stealing bank related trans transaction related information or spying on email and chat messages. There are two types of sniffing. There are active sniffing and passive sniffing. The active sniffing involve injecting address resolution protocol ERPs into a network to flood the switch content address memory CAM table. In turn will indirect redirect legitimate traffic to other ports, allowing the attacker to sniff traffic from the switch. Active sniffing techniques include spoofing attacks, DHCP attacks, and DNS poisoning, among others. As you know, the active sniffing is all about intercepting traffic of the victim. Next, passive sniffing. Passive sniffing involves only listening and is usually implemented in networks connected by hubs. In this type of network, the traffic is visible to all hosts. So the passive sniffing, they're not going to do anything, just listening and do anything regarding of the network. To the network. Alright, there are a few sniffing tools that can be used by the attackers. The white shark, Ethercat, and the bookie. So the first one, white shark. Actually, white shark is an open source packet capture and analyzer. It supports Windows, Linux, and it's a GUI based tool alternate to TCP dump. It uses PCAP to monitor and capture the packets from the network interface. The packets can be filtered based IP, protocols, and many other parameters. The packets can be grouped or marked based relevance. Each packet can be selected and selected as per need. The second one, Ethercap, a free and open software network security tool for a man in the middle on land. It can be used for computer network protocol analysis and security auditing. It runs on various units like operating system like Linux, macOS, BSD, and Solaris. And on Microsoft Windows. It is capable of intercepting traffic on the network segment, capturing password, and connecting active if dropping against a number of common protocols. Its original developer's letter founded by the hacking team. The one, the bookie, is a paid tool that can be used to monitor and analyze the network. It is able to intercept and analyze the traffic from devices that are in that subnet, irrespective of the device type like laptop, devices, TV, etc. So next up, I'm going to show you guys how to do sniffing attack. Hello guys, Assalamualaikum. I hope you guys are doing well. In this um, MCO, so uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, steps how to do a sniffing attack by using the intercap. Okay, so um, we go run the intercap first, and then um, as you can see, we have the intercap. As you can see. We have two OS over here, we have Kali Linux and we have Windows 7 using the Oracle VM virtual box. Okay. 
So first of all, you need to ensure that these uh, two OS are connected within the same network by using the the OBS as you can see the, the oh sorry the Oracle the Oracle VM virtual box manager as you can see over here you need to go to settings and uh, change attach to net network name net network over here and then to can uh, to make sure that this OS are connected to the same network okay so um first of all we're going to sniff using this uh, intercap which shows a unified sniffing and interface eth0 and press ok over here we have a lot of things that we have sniff okay in the network so uh, we're going to this is the victim uh, uh, os so we're going to attack this windows 7 os by getting the information by getting uh, the username or password to sniff anything from this windows 7 so i'm going to show you how to sniff the username or the password of the windows 7 uh, any if the user are surfing uh, into any website that is not secured which is uh, http so um and then we're going to scan for the host so we're going to trace the ip of the windows 7 all right so as you can see over here we have four ip address over here so we are going to to intercept uh, the network in uh, windows 7 in this os so um we go to cmd first okay and then um, we go to ip config so this is the example of the attack uh, the demonstration of the attack so uh, we already get the ip address of this os which is 10.0.2.5 so um as we can see over here it is listed on the intercap so we are going to become the man in the middle okay to intercept the network of this os okay so the path to 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 connect to the network of this OS is 10.0.2.1 so we are going to intercept the gateway of this OS okay so um as we can see over here let me sorry so as you can see over here arp dash a so we are to see the address of this this is the normal address to um, connect to the network all right normal address that is not suspicious over here but if we do the attack okay if we do the attack by using the intercap so we are going to add this target as a target one target target one sorry as the target one and then we are going to uh, intercept the the connection of this OS by going by uh, insert into the gateway so add as target 2 okay so we are going to go to MITM ARP poisoning and a sniff remote connections then press ok and we are doing the ARP poisoning victims as we can see um, if we go to Windows 7 we know that we already intercept this OS okay but when we intercept the physical address already changing okay as you can see this this means that we already intercept this this OS okay uh, so um, if the user um, as you can see over here we have the the mock website the not secured website which is a uh, techpanda.org so this is this website is not secured if the user are surfing to the not secured website which is uh, that have http so we can sniff 
the information alright so if um, the I go into example at gmail.com and we go to password submit and then we already retrieve you go to Kalines, we already retrieve the password and the email the user ID or user email or anything and then uh, this is where the the victim was surfing into so I think uh, that's all that's how to sniff the information uh, from uh, the victim by using the ERP poisoning so um, thank you so much for watching and have a good day